I'm going to show you how to complete the council chamber slash council tribunal quest. So in order to do this, depending which one you start at, you'll get to talk to these three characters. Uh, you'll just go up and interact on the podium like this. And I don't know if it changes based on which one you start on or not, but you'll get the point and you'll understand what to do pretty fast here. So uh, you'll interact with them. You'll you know accept their quest, do all the dialogues. And then after that, it kind of just leaves you here. So now what you need to do is get to the other place. So in this case, I'm going to go to the tribunal. So I have to beat this whole place. I have a guide for beating this in the description of this video in case you need a 100% completion guide of this area, like the secret room and stuff. But at the end, you'll get to um, this door right here. And that will take you to the next area, which will be the council tribunal in this case. Once you get to the council tribunal, then you're going to go down here and you'll fight your way down here. Um, these enemies, I just killed them a second ago. So there's two enemies in that hallway and you come to this room and there's a bunch of come. the angel like ones. Okay, that should clear the room. Now you look into this room and there's going to be a few enemies in here, but Whatever you do, you don't want to just rush into this room. Uh, because there's a ton of enemies in here and you'll get surrounded. So it's better to bleed them out of the room. It's much better to lead them out of the room and fight them in here. But yeah, if you go into the room, you end up with like six or seven of them around you. Glad that's over. Which I don't know. I guess if you lead them out, they don't spawn or something. Maybe they'll spawn when I go up, but we'll see here in a sec. Oh, wait. Are they the statues? I didn't even realize. Are they the statues? They are. It's the statues. So if you run around the top area, you'll commit suicide, basically. Because uh, all these guys will aggro all at once, and you'll be completely surrounded. So it's better to uh, lead the enemies out. And then um, take them out one at a time, or two at a time, or however it does it. Okay, so once all of them are dead, you're going to go up to here, and you're going to want to grab each of these things. I need to heal for a second. So you'll get these different keys, and they'll be different colors. There we go. Get, get all three of the keys. Then what you're going to do is you're going to look down, and you're going to put the keys back in for the appropriate colors. So this one is a green one. And then this one is a pink one. And then this one is a purple one. And then once you do that, it'll open up that door. And play some very dramatic music. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to head up to here. Once you enter this room, I've already picked up the item, so you won't be able to see it, but I'll show you where it was. I had picked it up when my mic was messed up in the recording, so I had to delete that clip, unfortunately. So what you'll do is you'll go over here, you'll go up here, use your dodge key in order to climb, and then this part right here, you just run at it and spam your dodge key, and it'll make you just jump across. And then right where I'm standing will be an item to pick up, the assassin's ring. Then you'll go over to here, and you'll run forward and spam your, jump, your dodge key. And then you'll go up here, and there'll be the assassin's dagger right here. Then you press start, open up the inventory, and then go to the assassin's dagger that you picked up and inspect it and look at the bottom. And I'm, I don't know if this is unique for each person's playthrough or not, but either way you can double check here. So whoever this is is the person who did it. So then on your way out, you'll get attacked by a few enemies, so be careful. I already killed those enemies. That's why there's these ammo drops here. And if you, like I said, if you want to, you can come back out here and look at the base of the pedestals to see which person is which and figure out who it is. Although I don't know that it really matters when you go back. You can just be like, I found this dagger. Well, either way, now what you need to do is you need to go back to the other version of this. So instead of the council tribunal, you'll go to the council chamber again. Once you're back at the council chamber, you can go up here. You can see which person it is based on the color. So for me, it's that person. And then you'll talk to them. 
And you say, I have news about who aided the imposter. If you accuse it is dead. Are you prepared? And then I am prepared to make then an speak. accusation. And then um, if you can't remember, you can always look at the dagger. In my case, I think it was this icon. So they don't show you the color here, but you can see the icon. And I'm pretty sure it was this person in my case. <laughs> all, uh, uh, uh. And then you can say, uh, I found this embedded in the one true king's body. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. So what if and I then so these people, you people will uh, talk it out. I'm going to skip all of it. I'll you can pause. You won't see the dialogue on any of these parts. But that is it for the quest. So there you go. That's what you got to do in case you're wondering. Um, that's how to do the quest in the council chamber slash the council tribunal. Well, you are too quick and an excellent. Here, foreigner, now let us be.